March. Um, I was invited to go to the Kupu Forest School, uh, very close to the Jabadi Hills. I had not been there earlier and I didn't know about what kind of our infrastructure, what to expect. But once I went there, I saw about 400 young people, men and women, very young people. And I was quite astounded. There were 20 cars full of people who work in the IT sector, who work in banks, who had driven all the way from Bangalore and come down to the Kuku Forest School. There were two, three cars which had come all the way from Kerala, from Tichur. And that's when it dawned on me that uh, uh, that uh, Dr. Nambalwar had invested much of his life uh, you know, carrying these messages to the youth. And this investment which is he had made in the youth, I could see them there at the Kuku Forest School. Young people uh, uh, with hope in their eyes who wanted to do something alternate. And these are the people who bring out this Thumbi magazine in Tamil, which I think is a very, very creative magazine. Um, so I had a very nice experience. It's a very, very unforgettable kind of experience. And Dr. Nambalwarsi, his ace point was that uh, to very three simple things, school without walls, well-being without pills, and food without poison. You know, these are uh, uh, very simple things which any ordinary person can understand. You don't need uh, much, uh, no, not very sophisticated, very simple. Food without poison, schools without walls, well-being without pills. And through these, he was able to take his message to millions of people. Uh, today, I salute this great hero, Dr. Namalwar, on his birthday. I would stop now. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask me these questions. Dhruva.